Hey fam. So I'm gonna go over today 10 things that you should be prepping right now. We're talking about food shortages, things that have already happened, and then shortages that I think are gonna be happening and that we're gonna have to deal with in the next year. So if you stick around, you're gonna see these 10 things that you should be prepping so that you can get ahead of the horde of people that will be after these things when you can't find them on the shelves. <laughs> Okay fam, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome and I hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, today we're talking about food shortages. So with food shortages, these are really the things that me, myself, or my family that I think about on a daily basis, okay? So I watch a lot of the news, current events, what's going on. I have my ear um, listening to other YouTubers, channels, just anywhere I can get information, I get it and then I make decisions uh, of what I feel like is important and what I need to try to get ahead of, okay? So I was just sitting here thinking about what I was going to get into as far as preps this week, right? Every week I'm getting something. Sometimes it's food, sometimes it's actual preps. Um, in this case, I have a little bit of extra money and I was thinking, okay, what? where are my holes, okay? Or what are the things that I'm worried about and I'm worried about food shortages. So here is the 10 things that I believe we need to be um, picking up and getting stocked up on because we might get to a point where it's not there. So uh, number one, coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, you need to be getting on this, okay? If you're not prepping coffee already, um, that's a problem, especially if you're a coffee drinker, uh, because if you go drinking coffee every single day, multiple times a day, and then you go to not drinking coffee, that's gonna be a very bad look on you, okay? So get your coffee. I do believe that this is gonna be a shortage this year, so get it now and stock it. It's also a great bartering item if you don't drink it. Now, I don't really believe in bartering, um, buying bartering items that you wouldn't normally use, okay? But coffee is one of those things like liquor that is gonna be, um, and definitely an item that you could barter and that people are going to be looking for. Okay. Number two, meat, any kind of meat, chicken, beef, whatever meat you and your family eat, get it and then preserve it. So I don't care if you can it, freeze it, dry it. The point is get your meat, get it now, um, and get it in your home. Okay. Because I think we're going to see shortages. And if we don't see shortages, we're already seeing prices um, start to skyrocket okay beefs out of control that's not even my favorite meat and the prices are already skyrocketing so get your meat number three vegetables and fruit so I don't know if you remember or wherever you're from when the pandemics first started and stores people started panic buying right and the stores started emptying what I noticed one of the areas that went the fastest was the frozen vegetable aisle and the fresh fruit and vegetables so what I'm telling you is um, get your vegetables and get your fruit and get them in any way you can, okay? So obviously if they're fresh, great, but also frozen. If you have freezers, fill your freezers up with your vegetables. And then obviously I know vegetables and fruits don't last that long, so start coming up with ways to preserve it. Right now I'm dehydrating my vegetables and my uh, fruits like crazy and I'll keep them in that dehydrated form. Or if you start to run out of jars or areas, then you can start blending them down to make powders, okay? So get your vegetables and get your fruits because you're gonna be hurting with your diet if we get to a point where you can't get this stuff um, at the grocery store or it's super expensive, okay? So fruits and vegetables. Number um, four, um, your baking items. So your yeast, your flour, your sugar. Get your stuff so that you're able to make rolls and bread on your own if you are not able to get bread products from the store, okay? Um, having the basics to be able to make a nice hearty bread to go with a stew or some rice and beans is phenomenal and you're gonna want to know one, how to do it, but you're more importantly, you're gonna need the ingredients. So we already saw shortages in this before. Stock up on your flour, your sugar, um, and your yeast, okay? And remember your other sugars too, okay? So there's some other stuff in there that you can remember, okay? That was number four, right? Okay, so number five, seasonings. So any seasonings that you use, if that's just salt and pepper, stock up on it. If you use a some sort of garlic salt, an adobo, um, some sort of salt seasoning that you use all the time or a lot of, get it and stock up on it, okay? Have no idea if this is gonna be an area where there's shortages, but I know that when there's shortages and we're getting back to cooking with the basics, right? 
um, you know, rice and beans and meats and, and taters. And that's like the normal type of stuff that we're eating. Um, it's nice just to have a nice homey seasoning that's your go-to, okay? Um, especially if you get to the point where you're trying to make stews and soups and stuff, you're gonna want to have your seasonings, okay? So seasonings, five. Okay, six, um, dairy products. So I specifically, I mean butter and cheese. So get those, get a lot of them, um, and just freeze it, okay? Uh, if you can and you believe in canning butter, can some butter. I'm going to be doing that. It's unconventional, but I'm going to be doing that as a way to get some butter, okay? Um, super important to have to figure out how you're going to do your dairy intake, but to me, all the fresh stuff goes really, really quick, okay? When there's shortages, your dairy, your fruits, your like that's the stuff that's going to be hard to find, and so you're going to want to make sure that you have extra. Obviously, I know you can't keep you know, gallons and gallons of milk in your fridge. Um, but butter and cheese, you can totally freeze that. So get that and freeze the stuff that you're not using right now. Okay, I think I'm on seven. Um, am I on seven? Okay, so we're gonna say uh, you're cooking oils. So any kind of oil, okay? Whatever oil you use every day um, for your cooking, if it's the sprays, then get the sprays. But get some good cooking oil, your vegetable oils, canola oils, coconut oil, what it, whatever it is that your family uses, get it and stock up on it. Um, I do believe that we're gonna see a shortage on that. Okay, I think that was seven. Okay, eight, we're gonna say rice, beans, and taters. So you're, to me, those are like your staples, right? I can make any meal out of those three things, right? You add some, some a can of um, some meat and voila, you have it. You can add a can of soup to any of those things, voila, you have a huge pan of food for somebody. Okay, so I love those things. Stock up on your rice, beans, and taters and then again like i always say you're preserving them so that they'll last longer on your shelves okay so i think i said was that eight i don't know what number i'm on okay so nine we're gonna say um canned soups and chilies so there was already a shortage on the tin cans that they use for soups um at least in my area i'm not seeing a shortage of that anymore we we really accept the the initial panic buying we didn't really see a shortage of that but i am hearing reports of people having shortage on that because of the tin can so if you're seeing soups especially if they're on sale and um, your favorite chilies and soups that type of thing go ahead and pick you up so canned food canned vegetables um carrots uh, corn green beans get all that stuff in your can get your yams those are great sources um, in a canned option that you can just put on your shelf somewhere and keep handy. Okay. So the only other thing I think I did, I think that was all of them. The other thing that I'm going to um, talk about is water. So water is super important. I know that's not really a food, but it kills me when I go to somebody's house and I don't see any water. Like they have no water. They're only dependent on a hundred percent on the water that comes out of the tap they don't have bottled water they don't have gallons of water they don't have water containers like that kills me if you don't have water you're gonna die like you have to have water or you're gonna die so you need to get water in your home get some water containers fill them up get your water catchment um, barrels outside if you have something like that you live somewhere where there's a lot of rain get your bottled waters get your gallon water whatever it is you better get some water in your stinking house or you're part of that percentage that is going to die as soon as anything significant happens world war three pops off an emp uh you know we uh, the power grid goes down like what are you going to do you're going to die is what you're going to do okay so get your water get these start working on these 10 things that i just went over with you and i got some extras for you if you're still here yay you're about to get the extras this is the stuff that i'm personally prepping so shoes this is really for kids okay if you have any amount of kids in the home trying to get them a pair of shoes right now right get them the, get them their backup pair if they don't have it and then be buying the next size up if you've got some money the next size up okay so be getting some shoes in advance right now um hygiene products okay think about what you do for your day when you wake up you wake up you brush your teeth get your tooth your toothbrush, toothpaste, um, get you some deodorant, get some soap, um, you know, toilet paper wipes, whatever uh, you use in the bathroom for that, tampons and pads for women, right? So think about hygiene products and then stock up on them, okay? Basically all paper products are gonna be a thing. So paper plates, cups, silverware, and then all your hygiene stuff. Just think about the basics that you use in a, in a, 
um, normal day and stock up on it for you and your family, okay? Those are the things you're not gonna wanna be without when you can't get them off the sh on the shelves, okay? So even if you're able to even get a one backup of something or two backups of something, <sighs> you're gonna be very, very thankful. All right, seeds. So I just, I literally just, I've never gardened in my life and I just started gardening literally within the last two weeks and my seeds are working, my plants are living so far, I haven't killed anything, um, but I th what I think is gonna be coming down the pipeline is more people starting to do that, especially when you start seeing things fly off the shelves and shortages, people start to get smart and think, oh, okay, maybe we should start thinking about growing our own food, which means shortages on seeds. So we saw a little bit of this already last year, so get your seeds. Also, when you're getting your fruit, um, and it's a fruit that you've ate or that you finished and there's still the seeds and remnants of vegetables or whatever it is, Keep start keeping your seeds, okay? And then canning supplies. Really, it's not canning supplies. It's any food preservation um, supplies. So if you are a canner that's getting the extra parts, that's getting um, extra jars, the lids. Um, if you're a vacuum sealer, it's getting the vacuum sealer bags, okay? Um, getting mylar bags, getting oxygen absorbers. If you're a dehydrator, you know, getting any kind of extra parts or getting another dehydrator so you have a secondary one. Um, whatever, whatever it is that you are doing right now to preserve your food for your family, you're gonna make sure that you're getting all the extra supplies now for that. I went last night, I have these plastic lids that go on top of jars to vacuum seal them that you connect to the thing. You can't find them online right, right now, at all, nowhere. Um, so I don't know if they discontinued them or they're totally just out of them, but I, can, I cannot find them anywhere and I wanted to get some um, for a backup and I can't find them at all, okay? Jars and lids for canning, we've already seen shortages with those. Um, again, I'm starting to see them come back on the shelves now, but, um, recently I'm seeing shortages in stores for the jars. I can find lids, I can find other things, but the actual size of jars that I'm looking for, for um, canning, I was looking for quart size, hard to find. Everywhere I go, they have a ton of pint size and not very many quart size, okay? And so that's a problem for me. So these are the 10 things, uh, food items that I'm prepping right now for my family. And then I just threw in those extra ones for you so you could start thinking then, uh, more about that and then I hope you guys enjoyed this if there's something that you're prepping right now or you think is super important um, that you we should hit on um, let's talk about it I know the other day people were talking about a shortage in ketchup guess what your girl went to the store and I got like five more bottles of ketchup okay keep your ears open and when you hear people talking about about stuff do it corn we're gonna have a shortage in corn this year okay we've already had a shortage so if your family eats a lot of corn which we do I love it I have a ton of canned corn, um, so that's important to me to make sure that I continue to prep that in case there's a point where I can't get corn or I can't get frozen corn in the frozen vegetable aisle. Whatever way you get your vegetables, be thinking about um, these things and keeping your ears open so that when you hear stuff, you are ahead of that, okay? Imagine that, us helping, e helping each other and getting ahead of the drama, all right? so. Take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you on the flip side.